All right, I'm just going to come right out and address the question on everybody's mind. Yes, this jacket does come in men's. Like, I gotta be honest, I thought this looked cool when I left the house this morning, but I really do look like a sketchy magician named David Copperfield. Of course, This Week in America wasn't about my name. It was about what we should call the celebrity power couple that could be forming between Taylor Swift and Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. We're gonna cover that later in the show. All I'll say in the meantime is, love Taylor Swift or hate her, you gotta admit it's nice to see a woman dressing up as a chief besides Elizabeth Warren. But while Taylor and Travis were having the what are we talk, a group of Republican presidential candidates were off at the Reagan Library trying to define America. It's worth noting that Gavin Newsom was there too, but staunch Democrat that he is, the California governor left in protest once he found out the Reagan Library didn't have any sex books for kids. If you ask me, the MVPs of the night were moderators Dana Perino and Stuart Varney, who managed to get through the entire two hours without dropping the F-bomb while breaking up food fights like this. Last debate, he said we were all bought and paid for. And I thought about that for a little while and said, you know, I can't imagine how you could say that knowing that you were just in business with the Chinese Communist Party. You know what I did with my first company? We opened a subsidiary in China. But you know what I did that was different than every other company? We got the hell out of there. Ron DeSantis is against fracking. He's against drilling. <laughs> He's been against. You did it. Every He always talks about what happens on day one. You better watch out because what happens happens on day two is when you're in trouble. That's just wrong. And let's just get real here. My plan will get the job done. Whoa. Dana actually threatened to cut off Doug Burgum's microphone at one point. But incredibly, we still haven't had any offers to cut his eyebrows. Chris Christie won the award for worst nickname. Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight, not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on the stage and defending your record. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. Now that's the comedy bridge Chris Christie should have closed. Now some people have joked that he was just fantasizing about pay King Duck. But I'm not going to hit the guy for his weight because I'm not exactly putting out a swimsuit calendar anytime soon myself. Like, you know you're out of shape when you're watching a diet commercial and wishing you could look as good as the before model. That's me. But the truth is, nothing anyone said tanked worse than Mike Pence's comedy career. My wife uh, isn't a member of the teachers union, but I got to admit, I'm... I've been sleeping with a teacher for 38 years. And... Um, <laughs> So full disclosure. Oh, God. <laughs> that joke bombed so bad, Hamas is claiming responsibility for it. Ron DeSantis had a strong showing, but the line of the night went to Nikki Haley during a back and forth with Vivek Ramaswamy. This is infuriating because TikTok is one of the most dangerous social media apps yes, that is. we could have. And what you've got, I honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah, Vivek took a lot of heat, but the truth is, everybody would like him more if his hair was just a little higher. Of course, back when she entered the race, Don Lemon said Nikki Haley was past her prime. But anyone who tells you women over 50 are past their prime has never seen my search history. Trust me, all it would take is one scene from Debbie Does Lipitor. And don't even get me started on the good times in the new season of Golden Girls Gone Wild. One thing that did become clear this week Whoever wins the Republican nomination will not get to debate Joe Biden because I'm pretty sure they're never letting him speak in public again after this. LLJ Cool J. Uh, <laughs> by the way, that boy's got, he got, that man's got biceps bigger than my thighs. Oh, so awkward. LL Cool J is one of the most iconic rappers of all time. And Biden not only mangled his name, but he referred to him as boy, which did not sit well with anyone, let alone radio host Charlemagne the God. You know why Joe Biden corrected himself? Because he's 137 years old. He fully understands the word boy in the racial context around a white man referring to a black man as boy. LL Cool J is a man who has been rapping since President Joe Biden was my age. Joe Biden was 44 when LL Cool J dropped his debut album, Radio. Okay, LL Cool J has been white famous for at least 35 years. <laughs> white famous. Yeah, Joe definitely looked old and perhaps racist. 
But for what it's worth, Biden has told his staffers that LL Cool J did a phenomenal job at Wednesday night's debate. Yeah, it's pretty safe to say that if America was a couple, we've definitely reached the it's complicated phase. This week, we found out the current president is being fitted for special shoes so he stops falling in public. And the former president was found guilty of fraud for inflating the value of his properties. Now, this one shocked me because it's not like Donald Trump to exaggerate. I mean, sure, he once bragged that he was so popular he could shoot someone in the middle of Fifth Avenue and get away with it. But if you look at the crime stats in New York, you'd realize lots of dudes are shooting people right now and getting away with it. Although I should note that New York's gun stats are a bit misleading because half of them were Jets fans who shot themselves. That being said, the whole country is struggling with crime. Target is closing nine stores due to rampant shoplifting. Turns out it was a bad idea to sell women's bathing suits you can tuck things into the front of. CVS also announced plans to close 900 stores because of high crime. And I was going to make a joke about CVS receipts, but it was way too long. And my God, did you see this week's looting in Philly? You're crazy! Come on, boy! <laughs> uh-oh. 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 It's horrific. But the bottom line is, criminals aren't going to jail. And to make matters worse, with the outfits these days, it's hard to tell who's a looter and who's a senator. Yeah, the Senate voted to reverse its dress code ban after Chuck Schumer received some major bipartisan blowback. Republicans were furious, and apparently New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez was also mad because if they stopped wearing sports jackets, he wouldn't have anything to hide his gold bars in. I mean, tried doing that in a polo. But in the end, we learned one thing this week, and it's that we should probably just be thankful they were wearing clothes at all. HBO is importing six seasons of the UK's most infamous dating show, Naked Attraction. The controversial show requires contestants to scrutinize each other's fully nude bodies on the air. If you're unfamiliar, picture The Bachelor if it began on a Zoom call with Jeffrey Tubin. In this dating show, we go back to basics. Are you ready? Bring on. And start where a good date often ends. <gasps> Naked. Oh, boy. So far, the show has gotten mixed reviews, although they've had security concerns because one male contestant had a suspicious package. Yeah, the dating shows are getting naked, the retailers are getting robbed, and the president keeps getting weirder. And sure, we had exciting news on the celebrity dating front this week. But as for our country, if you want to know the answer to what are we, we're screwed. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.